Well, you may have received a phone call or email about your child being low for their school lunch account. It's an issue for families across the country, including Stevens Point. That's why one Stevens Point woman is stepping up to help. News Channel 7 Sam Deering spoke with her to learn more about how she's helping Stevens Point Public Schools. Sam, why did she want to start this initiative? Cassandra Brook Brown is the migrant program manager for Express Employment in Stevens Point. She was inspired by Wassa pastor Yao Yang, who raised $20,000 $20, in school lunch debt that paid off both DC Everest and Wassa school districts. Now she's doing the same in Stevens Point. Stevens Point area public schools have $25,000 in school lunch debt. Brown has raised $5,000 so far. These families that owe this are our workers. They're the ones that work here. They're the ones that are working at all of our clients, you know, so uh, I think it's important for us to, to acknowledge that and give that back. Maybe you know a family who struggles to pay off school lunch debt. It's important to let them know they are not alone. These families that owe this are our workers. They're the ones that work here. They're the ones that are working at all of our clients, you know, so uh, I think it's important for us to, to acknowledge that and give that back. Brooke teamed up with the school district. When she learned how big the school lunch debt was, they both had goals and how they could lower that number. When you are struggling, things can kind of get away from you. Um, so trying to help families get back to that point where you know they're at least starting again from zero, especially at the end of the school year. School lunch debt is a national issue. Nearly 70% of surveyed schools had unpaid lunch debt in 2023. That's according to a survey done by Education Data. And when communities stepped up to help, it makes a huge difference. I'm just always blown away by um, people's willingness to support students and support things like money for meals. For those who donate to the initiative, you'll be entered so, in to win a grill. Um, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much you donate. It just any any donation from an individual, your name will get entered to win. Brown said, even though it is the end of the school year, she hopes people will continue to donate leading into next school year. Live in Stevens Point, Sam Deering, News Channel 7. Like Sam mentioned, back in April, we told you about a Wassa pastor collecting donations to get rid of school debt in the Wassa area. Through a GoFundMe page, he was able to collect more than $26,000. If you would like to donate, you can call the Wassa School District at the number on your screen.